Welcome back, Beards and Dragons fan, to another episode of Tomb Raider. Looks oh. like we are 24% complete. <laughs> we jumped up 15% last week. That's pretty good. Yeah, we get a few of those uh, relics and stuff, and it jumps, starts jumping up yeah. like squirrely. <laughs> That's true. All oh. right. And Hope. I'm going to have to remember where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it's going to be pretty smooth, because if I'm right, after this part, it's pretty linear on what you have to do. I don't remember it being too confusing at any point. It's not. It definitely gives you a few points where we get to bigger zones, where it's kind of like the water temple in Junk, where you have to go back and forth and yeah. a few times and... I'm Those can get a little annoying. Yeah, there's one part in it where it's like, oh, you're having to move these blocks around in an elevator shaft to try to get your way down, and that part annoyed me a lot, but that's the only part I can think of. Yeah. Okay. Here we are. Locate the second pilot cool don't think i have any skill points and i don't think i can do anything with this mm -mm. i'm 10 oh. away <laughs> <laughs> so i finally saw the new spider-man movie yeah how was it it was really good have you seen it i have not seen it yet okay it, it, you need to see it it's really good Okay, I will have to make a plan to do that. Yeah, I... No spoilers, it's just a really good movie. <laughs> so, I'm assuming you have seen the, like, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies and the Andrew yes. Garfield ones? Okay. Yeah, I've seen every one of them but this one. So, question of the decade, who is your favorite Spider-Man? Um, I would probably say Tom Holland just because I feel like he's the most Spider-Man of them. Because yeah. Peter Parker's kind of like a weird, nerdy kind of guy. And Andrew Garfield was just too cool for <laughs> Peter Parker. Yeah. And uh, Toby was just... That third movie turned me off on Tobey Maguire. Yeah. That, that's fair. What's the Kofun? I don't, I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> like, she said that in a way that, oh yeah, the players will definitely know what the Kofun period is. Yeah, I I have to go with Tobey Maguire as my favorite. I think it's because, like, those were the first superhero movies I really saw. So. I can get that. I mean, there's the first two, like, Spider-Man 2 is probably one of the best Spider-Man movies. Oh, yeah. But... I, I just think that Tom Holland has the best feel mm -hmm. of the a way, Spider Man. The way I've always thought of it is that I think Tobey Maguire is the best Spider Man and Tom Holland is the better Peter Parker. Uh because like I don't know, I always thought of Spider Man as being kinda like, you know, he's a little bit quirky and jokey and you know, kind of a smart Alec. But he also has like a yeah. pretty dark side to him as well. And I think Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man was darker and I like that. But he's also supposed to be a young kid and Tobey Maguire was not a young kid. So. Yes. And I think too if you look at like the different phases of Spider-Man that Tobey Maguire is like a later on Spider-Man. It's not yeah, like an absolutely. origin Spider-Man and Tom Holland's yeah. that origin Spider-Man. Yeah, exactly. They're all good in their own ways, so. Yes. Yeah, tie a rope to the bullet and just shoot it over there. <laughs> well, maybe. There's this thing here. Where am I supposed to shoot it? Uh, well, Don't you need to, like, press down a button to be able to shoot the rope arrow? Yeah, it's like that button, but... Hmm. <sighs> But when it's it's supposed to like change that 
symbol when it gets over something that I can shoot it at. Oh, gotcha. Uh. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to shoot it from the other end. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, to be able to throw those down there, get into fire arrow ready, and shoot it that fast, that is some Hawkeye kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. The end. <laughs> Whenever I talk about Hawkeye, my parents or like even some of my friends, they'll instantly think of the guy from MASH instead of the superhero. And like, you know, fair enough, the Hawkeye and MASH was pretty funny. <laughs> True. Oh boy. We get to do this again? Oh, I forgot about this part. This was, like, creepy to me when I first played it. Oh. Because this feels like a really doled down version of an Outlast scene. Yeah. Which I started playing today. <laughs> so, have you never played them before? Uh, I've played about as far as I got in Outlast today. It's about how far I've played. So, about gotcha. 15 minutes. Okay. It's a disturbing game. It's it's a good game, but it's pretty creepy. Yes, it is. Like, that asylum kind of aesthetic that it has, it's just so good. And the camera, uh, it's just a really well done game. And it has given me nightmares in the past. Not too big to admit that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I used was playing... Through the first Dead Space at one point, and mm -hmm. I had to stop playing it at night because it's like I can't, I can't do this. No, it that Dead Space is like such a different type of scary, because like, oh, it's just so, it's just so disturbing and just quiet. It, it feels like a horror version of like Metroid. That's a big boy. It is. a Big boy. He doesn't look very friendly. That that has to be like Eddie Hall underneath that armor. Like that is a big dude. Also, it's a Silent Hill ripoff. Oh yeah, uh, who's the guy? Pyramid Head. Yeah. Yes. I... Some good Pyramid Head. <laughs> I. No, I've never played any of the Silent Hill games. I've seen Let's Plays of, I think, the fourth one. Uh, but all I know about it is Pyramid Head and the nurses. And I was like, I, I like Pyramid Head. He's cool. <laughs> yeah. A puppy. Okay. Now I'm getting shotgun ammo. Do I have a shotgun? Uh, no, no, not yet. Maybe you're about to get it. Foreshadowing. <laughs> this isn't creepy at all. Not at all. So, last, I, I, I told Joe about this before we started. I had some friends over last night, and some of us were here until like 3 a.m. And... At one point, we are just, like, all sitting around the table talking. And when my friend goes, do you want to put on some Joe Rogan in the background? I was like, you know what? Why not? <laughs> so we listened to a Joe Rogan podcast that has Alex Jones on it. And, oh, my gosh, some of the stuff that they talk about was just so... <sighs> I don't want to say crazy, but it is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like... Yeah, I don't listen to him really at all no i don't either but i my friend or a couple of my friends do and so i was glad they told me about this one it was funny yeah uh, i need like, some rat meat <laughs> at one point they were talking like about animal human hybrids and all this stuff and i was like wait what <laughs> when did this become part of the military we have furries. We have developed furries. Oh, 
there is a picture somebody posted this week of some person wearing their fur suit Ooh. in uniform, and it's like that is just so disrespectful. Oh, no. Yeah. If that happened like on base, they would be like bullied relentlessly, wouldn't they? Yeah. Good. They deserve it. Um, I would think so, but I mean, I don't know that military has gotten a little weird since I left because they've kind of yeah. tried to go full on like we gotta be super hyper diverse and let everything in, and it's just like that's not the military. The military is not like that. The yeah, military isn't... is equal because we're all in the same uniform. That's the whole point of the yeah. military. It's supposed to be equal, very, you know, uniform. And, yeah. like, the military needs to kind of be, like, the best of the best. So. I, th I think what it needs to be like is, like, everyone has the same opportunity to get in. But yeah. not necessarily the same chances <laughs> based on who they are. <laughs> Well, everybody has the same opportunity to get in if they exactly. have, if they meet the standards. It's just that's yeah, they're changing the standards. Uh, yeah, some of which I get. Some exactly, changes yeah. are good. Some changes are not. Yeah. How did she gather that from those pictures? I'm so magic. I'm so impressed. This isn't Lara Croft. This is like Lara Holmes. Run away! Whoa! Jeez! Oh boy! <laughs> so. I gotta make sure. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I am making that mistake again. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, I know. That one hit didn't kill you, so you're good. I know. Ooh, oh, nice. That was convenient. I'm surprised this shotgun didn't do more damage, though. Yeah. You're definitely close enough that it'll just be like a gaping hole in their chest. How's he get back up? Oh, hey. Someone's shooting at me. Nice. Well, that's what they taught us. Two in the chest, one in the head. <laughs> Is that actually something that they teach? or? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's how we do our qualifications. Okay, cool. It's And I've seen enough horror movies to know that you always put an extra one in the head. <laughs> Oh, you have to at least put, like, two or three clips in there, you know? In a good really? horror movie. Well, in a situation like this, I wouldn't, because... <laughs> I would have run out of ammo, but... Okay. Hey, what the hell's going on down there? Oh, jeez. Thanks, friend. <laughs> Absolute mad lad. Oh, yeah, cool. Blong. The if audience is now deaf. <laughs> For real. If it's heavy enough to knock down that door, I kind of doubt that she'd be able to pull it back. Yeah, I mean, it was half busted anyway, so. Oh, maybe. yeah. Maybe. Well, Lara's like crazy strong. She's that got is that, true. I mean, just look at her. She's got the roids in her, you know? I mean, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Sometimes you just hit that plateau at the gym. Kinda gotta gotta get a little something to help you. I'm not endorsing drugs of any kind. Don't anyone think that. Uh, oh. Increased damage. There we go. Only take medicines that your doctor tells you to take. Within a reason. Pass. <laughs> oh, no. I still remember the first time I shot a shotgun. I was with my cousins and they were teaching me how to use guns and everything. 
they're all yeah. they're all law enforcement and they like are all have extensive gun training and everything so when i was getting old enough they decided to teach me how to do it but they thought it'd be funny not to tell me that a shotgun kicked any more than a normal rifle and so i'm just there with a the shotgun aiming at a target and i i still remember how sore my shoulder was because i wasn't prepared for it or anything and I, oh. I i was so mad at them and they were just over there laughing their heads off and i was like you guys are the worst yeah (laughs) these are the same people that when i hunted and got my first deer they got you know you're supposed to get a little bit of the deer blood and put it under your eyes as like the initiation or whatever into being a hunter um and but with me instead they just reached into the guts of the gear deer just pulled out whatever intestines organs that they got their hands on just slapped it on my face and i was like gee thanks so I'm just walking around with, like, literal deer guts on my face. And I was like, you guys are the worst people. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I haven't got my first deer yet, so I haven't had that initiation. You know, as long as you don't do it with my cousin, it's fine. Just yeah. a little bit of blood under the eyes. You kind of feel cool. Uh, but I got them back. I got the bladder, and I found out that it works a lot like a water balloon. So. Oh, boy. <laughs> Dude, welcome to growing up in Mississippi. <laughs> but ow. Ow. Okay, if a shotgun, if you hit a shield that close, that yeah, sh- yeah. Oh. that shield would I got be flying off his arm. The, the machine guns are kind of powerful in this game. They're- yeah. I guess they have one damage input for bullets, and they just didn't didn't tone it down for that. Got him. One. Nice. Jeez. Got him. Bullet. Nice. Oh, well, kind of got him. Oh, they don't really have like a lock on in this game, do they? No. Yeah, that's rough. Come on. Stupid camera. <laughs> I played with the controller, so I can't. Oh my goodness. Or I played with the keyboard, and that made it a lot easier when this happened. There we go. Yeah. It it doesn't help that I'm, like, rolling away from the bad guy, and it's flipping mm. the camera. It's yeah. with it. Yeah. The combat in this game was definitely the second thing that they thought about. Go away, dogs. <laughs> They're f- fighting right next to me, oh, so... Gotta love it. Whoa. Uh, okay. I don't know who scared who more. He, him or when you got the gun out and just blasted his guts in the next week. <laughs> yeah, that scared me a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing about playing horror games like Outlast. Even, like, you'll be playing a completely normal game and everything will be getting to you after playing a, a, like actual horror game. Oh, yeah, I remember what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Magic strength. Woo. <laughs> nice. Break everything. This is some strong wind. Like 
It's magic wind. That's true. Because now this one's going a different direction. <laughs> well, to be fair, in mountains, wind can actually, like, kind of slide off the rocks and go in different directions, I think. I don't think to this amount, but there might be some truth behind it. They found you. Uh-oh. Ah, this dude's got armor. Not enough to stop you from killing him with a shotgun. Got him. Nice. Oh, nice. Ooh. Oh, Two nice. for... Du -du -du Double kill. Did you ever play Dota or anything? I did not. Okay. Uh, I know of it. You didn't miss much. I, I'm going to offend some people from saying that. I just, I have tried to get into Dota so many times and I just never could. League of Legends, I kind of get into. But even then, only if I was playing with a group of friends. And, I don't know, just the view of that game is rough. Do you need to open both of them so that, like, the wind is even, like, kind of pushing it forward? Probably. It's not going to be a very exciting video to watch me flail around for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? if that does it. Oh, yeah. That went in like a wrecking ball. Insert Miley Cyrus joke here. <laughs> Absolute slugger. Knock that guy out into outfield. It's something scarier than me. <laughs> that is something I like in this game, is that they have an interesting progression system. Because, like, you see that guy now, and you're like, oh, absolutely terrified of him. But by the end of the game, it's just like a slightly stronger enemy, and you fight a few of them. I remember this part too. I died so many times here. Uh, I'll be surprised if I don't. Um, I'm thinking of something else. I guess. There's one part where you're sliding down and I died a couple of times, I think. Yeah, there's <laughs> several of those sequences. And <laughs> I die a few times in each of them. I'm, I'm just gonna take a nap. Hello? Hello? Dang gum it. Language. I was gonna say that. <laughs> I have like an interesting re like relationship with my views on cussing, because like I don't necessarily mind hearing it or other people doing it. I just choose personally not to try not to do it for yeah. a like social because it's not socially acceptable kind of thing, but. 
realistically, the way I think of it is that they're just words. They're literal sounds, and they don't carry that much meaning behind them. Yeah. So, it's kind of like half and half. Like, I don't really care, so people can say it all they want, and I'm not going to be offended. But at the same time, I know that, like, if I'm in a job interview, that's not going to fly too well. Well, I think this is a good enough stopping point for this video. All right. Because I don't know when the next one's coming. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Isn't her dad dead? I don't remember. Okay, that might really I don't remember if he is or if he's missing. I know is they killed those men. Hmm. I have a feeling they wouldn't hesitate to kill me too. But I can't think about this. Find out in the next game. <laughs> or the next next game. I think. Alright, well, I guess we're ending this one here. I hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. And Joe did very well this episode. I don't think he died any. I did once. Oh, you did? <laughs> I got machine gun. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. So, it's still a good record. <laughs> Alright, we will see you all next time. <laughs>